Hello! I thought I'd show you some of the little lettuces and how to actually take them apart and repot them. So what I've done here is I have some containers for them to go in. Um, I counted that there's 12 of them. I only have, I think, nine containers here because some of them are too small to transplant yet and I may leave them. This is an Elecrop, I think that's how you say that, um, heirloom lettuce. It's organic. Um, as you can see, I have it labeled. Then that's the plant date. When it sprouted um, is in my book, but that's the plant date. Um, and I'm transplanting it today, which is February 22nd. So I've already pulled one cell out of this container here, which um, they were growing in a mixture of coconut flour, um, a little bit of heat moss, and perlite. And this is the one that I'm going to separate. As you can see, there's three lettuces in there, maybe more as I get done in there. And I just wanted to show you how to separate little plants like this that can be very tender and delicate, but you still, I hate wasting seeds. I like to use every single seed um, that comes up and that's available that looks healthy. So I'm going to try to take them apart with one hand. And um, I have a little um, place here for them to go, but I'm just going to take some extra dirt. I'm not moving anything on the plant. I only want to split them apart at the root. <clears throat> so I have some extra dirt over here. I'm going to bring them over and just kind of put them in the bucket here so they'll be stable. And I'm just going to kind of shake them. So you don't want to really touch the plant. You don't want to really pull the plant. You just want to shake it until they start slowly easing apart. <laughs> and with one hand, that's not as simple as it may sound. <laughs> with two hands, you'll be fine. You'll got it. So I just shook that one apart and loose. And now I'm going to go for this bigger one. See how this, um, this sprouting mix is very um, loose and grainy anyway, so it makes it pretty easy for them to come apart. Um, there's a big, like, clod of something right there. So I'm just gently shaking the plants free. And, you know, usually I would do... <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to watch. Um, I would be doing this with both hands, and it would be a lot easier. But this is just to show you. Um, usually you wouldn't want to shake that much dirt off if you could help it. But it's going to be fine. Um, it's got a big, huge set of roots here because they were growing without any kind of um, fertilizer and they were growing in very loose medium. Um, so yeah, what I've done with these pots here is just sprayed them from every angle with hydrogen peroxide 3%. These have already been cleaned. They've been on my deck since last season. They are not very dirty at all. If you had dirty ones, you might want to spray them with the hose or even um, spray them with some rubbing alcohol first. But these were used last season. Nobody had any diseases from them or in them, so I'm not too worried about it. But this will just keep any like white flies or you know little larvae that may be in the pots. That'll make it dormant, kill it in its in its first stage of life or whatever. Um, so I just am letting it fizzle for a minute, and um, I'm going to pack these, all of them, with this dirt, and then I'm going to make little holes to put each of these little plants in, and I'll bring you back when I'm doing that. Alright, so I think I can do this with one hand. <laughs> um, but what I wanted to show you was, I just made a little hole in this dirt. Um, I put uh, dirt in this little pot, and then I packed it down in the bottom. And then I put a little layer of loose dirt over the top, all the way to the top. And I have of this little plant sitting in a little hole that I've made. And I'm just going to go in and make sure all the roots are in the dirt. And then I'm just going to like shake a little bit. 
and then push down just as far as he can go. And I'm going to take and remove that dirt that's the top layer of dirt that he didn't really need. Make sure he's pushed down in there and then just tap and shake and that's good. And I did that with these other two as well. Um, they should be fine. I've got labels going for these and I'll bring you back when they're all potted up. All right, so as you can see, we've got a nine plants out of those four cells, these four cells right here, we've gotten nine lettuces. And that's not a whole lot. I mean, obviously if you want to plant a whole flat of these, if they're going into your garden that, you know, you, you're trying to sell at farmer's market or something, you want, you're going to want more than this. But for my household and <clears throat> as much as we like salads, this is great for just one type of lettuce. I have all kinds of other lettuces growing outside. I don't know how they'll do. Hopefully they will do beautifully. I'm hoping that these will too. If you haven't seen my video on preparing dirt for seedlings, please check that out. I will link it above. And as you can see, there's three little seedlings in there that just didn't make the cut. So we did have 12 sprouts in those four cells. But these were the only plants that I felt were viable at this time. Um, these in another week will probably be just as big as these. I'm trying to keep myself from feeling too sorry for them because I just don't have enough of these little two and three inch pots to support everyone um, having an intermediate stage right now. So I might just pop these outside and see if they survive. But for now, everybody, I hope you're having a great day. See you soon.